<laughs> okay, I guess it's working as you can see me sneezing. <laughs> uh, and I hear my voice. Okay. It's the first time I go online live. Hi, everyone. So as I go online live for the first time, I wrote my speech. Um, for those who don't know me, which I think are a lot of you, my name is Madeleine Bongard and I'm a Swiss artist. I'm active in theater as an actress and a director and an author. Um, since 2016, I have had the immense, immense chance to regularly go to Ukraine and uh, to work there with deep, human, strong, spiritual, uplifting people. I have worked in Lviv, in the Western Ukraine, in Kiev, and in the Eastern Ukraine, in Mariupol. These last 10 days, I have been talking and writing on a daily basis with my partners there, with performers from all over the country, and also a lot with the head office of Dach Theater and Gogglefest organization in Kiev. Everyone told me they are calm and facing the threat of new attacks. They have been preparing for this for eight years now. Everyone also told me that they need our support. And now the question is, how? Of course, you can find online links for donations. And uh, you can do things like boycotting all Russian products, things like that. But as we come from the art field, we believe that there is another thing that the Ukrainian folk might need right now and during all the time these attacks might last. They need to see us online. And they need to see us celebrating life through art. They need us to fill the social platforms with beauty, with emotion, with poetry, with love. Because the fight going on in Ukraine is a fight for democracy. And art is one of the strongest tools, I might even say the strongest weapons of democracy. So yesterday I made a decision and uh, it has become reality this morning. I decided to invite the whole world to join me every day online for a 10 minutes dance. From day one of the attacks, which means today. Um, why dancing? Because dancing is a universal language. Yeah, I hear you. I cannot dance. Um, I don't want to go online. Everyone will see me. So let me share this with you. No one will judge because there is no dance that is whether correct or wrong. There is only you following your own inner music and moving on a soundtrack. And as long as our hearts beat, as long as we have blood going through our veins, whether you are a dancer or you think you cannot do this, as long as you have this, believe me, bringing your body in slow movement, opening up your articulations, breathing, this makes you be a dancer and the flow of life will go through you. I uh, strongly believe that our friends in Ukraine will receive the energy of our dances. 
So please join me. I will be online every day, wherever I am, at 1 p.m. Western Europe time. And the Zoom link and all the details will be posted under this live video. For today, I will dance alone online, as this is the official and improvised announcement. But uh, please, wherever you are right now, wake up your groove and move with me on the other side of the screen. And from tomorrow, every day that will be needed, please join me and also help me to share this information. Of course, in the beginning, it might look a bit clumsy. Um, we need to understand all the technological details, to gather everyone together. We might have connection problems, whatever. And of course, sometimes we might, I don't know, be asking ourselves a lot of questions. Why do we do this? But let's try. Sometimes we will be a lot. Maybe sometimes I will be alone. Let's give it a try. Let's try to make the social networks covered by our movements of support to the Ukrainian folk. And please, this is a message for you, the Ukrainian folk. If you can, if you feel like, please join us. Duje Thank you. 
I'll see you tomorrow.